Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, the last video I just finished about a minute ago, so I figured I'd hit the intro right here. Got these kydex sheets to mark out and drill out and grind out and get all ready and all that good stuff. And uh, I'll make sure to put my website up in the cards. It's the first down in the description. I got Amazon links on there. I got shirts on there. I got like three knives on there. All right, let's just get to it. Let's go ahead and draw this out how we want it. You can make it a little bit big. You figure your eyelids are this big. So go ahead, boom. You know, you can lay them out even if you want. Trying to help you as a guide. But however far you want them from here, you're going to want to put them here. And you're going to come down here. These are all points that it's going to be uh, holding on. But right here, I usually use where the screw is. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I didn't put three screws in, but this isn't sitting in all the way. <laughs> that's all right Whew. so yeah where this is that's going to be a main point of holding so you know, want to come up here all right this is how i do it cut right there you can always make this smaller that seems a little big huh <laughs> now i'll just do that for the other two this one, we just have to put one here. I got acetone in this, and that'll take it right off. See? Boom. <laughs> so don't worry too much about messing up. Do the bandsaw. on so I'm probably yelling more than I usually yell. <laughs> I guess it's time to let the cat out of the bag. What the guy wants is he wants two knives and two sheaths so they connect like this. Now I've been thinking about it and I'll do my regular setup with the tech lock. Boom. Well here let me show you. So we'll mark out our regular tech lock and if you look these eyelets are as big as those. In fact, these are a little bit bigger. Now, I, I, you can see the blade right here. So I usually line it up with that. So those three right there. Then we want one right here. Just checking to make sure this camera's on. <laughs> now here, you know, I'm going to have to figure out. I got one here. But the rest is going to be dictated because, uh, I'll start here. Yeah, good. So we're below our tech lock. So I can still put the clip and all that on there. Then we'll figure that out. First one, like right here.
Then do we do here and here? That looks about good. See, because we're going to come back and we got to grind this all out. This doesn't need the tag lock because this will be connected to here. You know, I still make those wraparounds and I'll put a clip on it. But in case they don't want that, they want to use a tack lock. That's why I do the tack lock layout. You know, I put my own clips over it. But, uh, yeah. It's always good in case they want to take that off and use their own thing. Now, this one I'm not going with the knife. Now, these two I want even. Yeah, see, that doesn't look right. <laughs> see, when I look at that, it's up too high, but then... <laughs> man, it's one of those optical illusions. I'm going to put it down here. Because the, the knife right here is throwing me off. If I look at it like that, with the knife, it looks way down. Man, that's an odd optical illusion. Because I put it higher than it... Woo! Yeah, it doesn't matter what I do because of the way the knife is messing with me. But that's it. Right. I put one right. Let's do it this way. Let's do it the other way. There we go. We're just gonna, that's it. I can move it a million times. It's gonna look wrong. There. Yeah, I turn it this way, it looks wrong. I turn it that way, it looks right. Woo! Man, so this is crazy. This looks too high. This looks too low. Now, if I look at it, it looks like right in the middle would be perfect. <laughs> a little bit lower than that. I'm just going for it. I'm going to put it right in the middle of there. Cause it's just gonna keep shifting. I look at it one way, man. Complete optical illusion. I hope the camera catches that. <laughs> man, woo! All right, to the drill press. So I got this one drilled out here and uh, put them together with a bolt. So here's what I'm going to do. It might take me a couple times. I was thinking to use uh, this screw up here because it'd be right there. But I'm going to give myself a little bit of leeway and use this bolt right here. So uh, what we're going to do, take our pin. See where that lands. That's pretty good. That's real good, actually. Bam. Damn near perfect. <laughs> I want to see what it looks like with the tack lock. Just in case he wants to take them apart and wear them separately. I wasn't planning on doing this, but it's actually a good idea. Let me get this one drilled out. Nah, I don't like something that'll look right there. Let me cut this on the bandsaw. Now I'm just gonna drill it out like we just saw, well, that was two days ago, but five seconds ago. <laughs> now I'll meet you over at the grinder. I already did this one for Instagram. What I do is I just take bolts and put them together. I saved this one because we're going to put a small wheel on next and get in here. But, uh, yeah, so let's just clean these all up. Boom. I just use the bolts because that way you know it's going to be bigger than your eyelets. So 
Boom, you know they'll fit, and you know you, you know you, you can space it here and then space it here and kind of even it out and see how it works. Get the small we want. We got these all where we want them. Actually, I'm gonna hit them real quick on like a 120. This one to where it snaps. It's kind of hard to get in, but I'm putting a tip. Remember how this goes up? So I'm putting a thumb ramp in there, which, you know, I'm surprised it was that good. So that thumb ramp will help it out a bit. But uh, yeah, next one. <laughs> this one's gonna be a little hard because it's so thick. Yeah, so you gotta break between having this come out and having it go in. So. All right, let's work on it. Just a little bit at a time. Take out a little bit more. That's all right. We'll get it formed up, but it, it's tight. It's not going anywhere as I hit the camera. <laughs> all right, last one. Woo! That one was easy. <laughs> it's a little tight. Uh, it's actually a lot tight. <laughs> All right, a little bit. Well, let me see how it is after the thumb ramp. Because the thumb ramp will loosen it out. I'm not putting the thumb ramp on that last one. Right, I'm just going to hit it on like a 120 and maybe an A65 on all of them. But I'm going to do that off camera. I like to hit it on the bumper. Just, you know, hit it in here, get it all cleaned out, get it all smoothed out. Any little bumps or anything off. You know, you don't want to lay into it too hard because then you'll melt it. Some people like that melted look, but uh, I like kind of in between. In between how it is here. See, it's kind of rough. And there's little bumps every once in a while, so just bump it out lightly. What you can do is take some of these sanding blocks. I get them at like Home Depot, I think. I'm sure they got them on Amazon, but Home Depot and, and, and just make sure, man, I must did all those things without it. <laughs> I did that big one, so I'm gonna have to go back and do it. But uh, all right, let me hit this one and then uh, we'll see where we go. All right, man, I'm glad I, at least I only gotta go back and do one. It's the biggest one, but that's all right.
just gonna take a screwdriver and the heat gun, pop it under here and then pop it up and see where we're at. See if we need to loosen it or tighten it or whatever. Once again, we're at 400. It cracked a little bit there. I'm gonna go hit it on the uh, grinder to smooth it out. But, uh, <laughs> listen to that click. See if we need to come up anymore, if that's good. You can always go bump it back out. Yeah, that way you can put your thumb right there, push against it, bam! <laughs> Woo! All right, let's get to the next one. This one is just fine how it is, because it, man, it snaps perfect, you know, holds, so we don't want to do too much to it. It's just right. <laughs> this one, I don't think we're even gonna be able to hold it, so I'm gonna have to hold it like that as I put the thing here, heat it up, and just, you know, slowly do it. These ones are hard, because, man, there's a lot in there. <laughs> And if you're thinking, isn't that gonna mess up the temper? No, this isn't even, it's 400. Same as I do my tempering, so. We just wanna make sure it doesn't get shiny. There we go. Boom. Woo, burn my fingers. <laughs> Woo, perfect. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go hit these on the bumper and then we'll get the uh, eyelets in. All right, so for ones that are real tight like this, I'll take a screwdriver, cause my fat fingers don't fit in there. And just make sure everything's cleaned out. You know, after washing it out with soap and all that, so yeah. <laughs> cause Kydex will scratch like a mother. So yeah, get it all cleaned out. Then I take some acetone to get off, you know, where I drew out the lines. You might even want to go buff it. Like I just took this one and buffed it out just to make it, see how much shinier it is in this? Just to kind of clean it up. You don't want to lay into it just to, you know, get all the stuff off of here and just make it all look, uh, make it all look clean and uh, even and all that. All right, let's get these rivets in or eyelets in or whatever you want to call them. I already put the eyelets all in, so let's just get them all popped out. Right to the high speed. <laughs> to set them up, I put it like on the right side. Boom, so now these are facing out. Get this tape off, make sure these are all cleaned up. Every part is clean. Some Windex just to clean it off. But we definitely don't want to put it in there wet. I got tape on my foot. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't put it in there wet, but anything we can do to make sure we don't got scratches or any little piece of Kydex or Yeah. Bam. All right. Now we just got to do the wrap for the carry. Woo. All right. I was going to show how to make this, but I'll put a video up in the cards and it's uh, just go to 13 minutes in and I'll show how I do this. But check it out. Boom. <laughs> that turned out pretty nice. Like I said, you can take this off and put this on a tack lock by itself. And uh, yeah, two separate things completely. But bam, all nice and together. Woo wee, yeah man. I like that idea. <laughs> Here's the Tanto, boom, all good to go. All that's left is logo and sharpening and these are done. 
But check this out. I was getting all nostalgic. I, I didn't bring any other camera, so I'll have to show this on my phone. But here, take a look at this. Looking through some of my old artwork. It's a lot of skulls, a lot of tribal and crosses, roses. <laughs> yeah, man. Woo! Man, I've been drawing in probably 15, 20 years. Boom. <laughs> I used to love drawing broken hearts. <laughs> Want these roses? <laughs> Man, that heart is torn apart. <laughs> I wasn't too good in the coloring. I just needed bigger pens. I did mostly black and white. <clears throat> Morbid Sanctuary was gonna be one of the uh, one of, the name of one of my albums <laughs> for my old band, Consent to Kill. Oh man! See, I should have just gotten. I think no. I was gonna say. I should have just gotten thicker pens to fill things out. I might have done that here with thicker pens, but I don't know. An unfinished tribal. <laughs> that would look pretty good on your back, huh? <laughs> That would be a pretty wicked back tattoo. <laughs> this was my album cover right here. This was uh, 93, I think. <laughs> Castles. That'd be pretty wicked on the back. That's the one I did on my leg. too bad. <laughs> That'd be like a good old traditional tattoo. Well, that's about it. Track three of the past. Feeling all the nostalgia. I was listening to some Hendrix too. Make sure I put my website up in the cards. It's the first down in the description. Uh, woo! I got shirts on there. I think I even put some shirt, uh, sleeveless shirts on there. And uh, I got three knives left. And uh, yeah, Amazon links, all that other stuff that's on there. I think some of my artwork's in the far back of my website. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell. 
Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think of my artwork and of this double sheet. This wasn't my idea, but I really like it. All right, I'll make sure to put the rest of the playlist right here and my website's right there. Hope y'all having a great day. And as always, take it easy.